Hello and welcome. It's Mitzi Wyman here, and this is a short video to tell you about the Beyond Difference program that I've just finished delivering for Dorset Health and Social Care. This was a program designed by myself and my colleagues, Rita Simons and Tina Dean, and it was specifically for aspiring leaders from ethnically diverse backgrounds. The program was spread over four months and comprised six modules, and it was delivered using Nancy Klein's thinking environment approach, which meant that the participants were able to think superbly well together. We covered a range of themes, including influencing and negotiating, presence and impact, and strategic planning and decision-making, and it was a real pleasure to see them learn and grow over the course of the program. And indeed, in a moment, you'll get to hear from them directly about their experience of it. The programme was experiential in nature and gave participants an opportunity to explore their own leadership journey and they began to appreciate the very real benefits that their diversity brings. Finally, they went away with greater confidence in their ability to navigate the system, challenge everyday microaggressions and to speak up on behalf of others. We've come together as lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds and experiences we've shared and collaborated and it's been amazing it's been a true journey the journey as a leader is not about our position our roles and titles but it is our ability to create a culture of being inclusive trusting welcoming and empowering each other's strengths and creating safe spaces where we can think and participate freely the Cultural differences and values that we bring is what makes us valuable members of any team. Being a good leader is not having always the right answer, but being able to encourage people to come together to find the right solution collectively as a team. I had this limiting assumptions thinking, I'm from BAME community, my English is not that good, I have accent. That session really boosted my confidence. In the past, I wasn't always able to easily identify my emotional state. I would very often forget to breathe normally during presentations. I would shy away from difficult situations and not say much within our internal team meetings, thinking that my voice didn't matter or that what I had to say wasn't important enough. I was worried that I was not enough. I did not believe that what I had to say was valuable to others. I thought that my accent set me apart and the barriers were insurmountable. I feel I'm now uh, able to identify feelings better and manage them in a more constructive way. Having these new skills has helped shape a better team that I work in to create a new environment that allows all colleagues to show who they are and reach new abilities. I've learned the importance of seeing people in their strengths. I have also developed a self-awareness of how to communicate with open dialogue. I have started to enjoy the art of listening, whilst also being aware of how many times conversations are interrupted, leaving the speaker's message only partially understood. As a result of this course, I feel that I have a place at the debating table within my organization, and I will not shy away from taking part. I hope to strive towards developing strong, trusting relationships within my team and also with individuals beyond my team. Since this course, I have been having conversations with directors to address the issues within my team with the aim of having an open, trusting environment. I'm aware of my strength and my limitations and understand my emotions and behavior. I have got a positive feedback. I am an inclusive leader now. Thank you. One of the things that has happened with this course is to remind me every morning that I need to listen. You can only learn by listening. The quality of the thinking depends on the quality of the listening. It's what you have learned on the course, really, and how you are as people, your self-awareness, and how you're nurtured within your working environments, I believe, that helps you to flourish. I've now got the confidence to reapply for a position that I put on the shelf based on the confidence that I have from this course. What we've all said throughout this course, it's been very, very useful. They've got a lot from it and it's certainly helped with their development and future goals that they may have. They say a flower 
will flourish in the right soil. You wouldn't change the flower if it wasn't flourishing. You change the soil that it was planted in. And this is what this course has helped me achieve. Are we working in a thinking environment? Is it positive? Is it free from unconscious bias? What really struck me was how confidently and authentically you talked about your experience. The sense of community and connection and support that you appear to have for each other struck me as being instrumental in part of this learning and growth journey that you've been on. I was so thrilled to hear the stories of how some of you have felt confident to go for other roles now as a result of this. So fantastic. My sense is that we have a community here of great leaders who are going to go out into the system, whether you work in health, social care, for our council or any other parts of that system. From what you've learned, I really do encourage you to go out, be great leaders as you talk about, and create great leaders in the people that you interact with.